Alrighty guys, back here at the Off-Grid Tiny House. I think it's about midnight or something by now. Um, this is what it looks like out the new bedroom window. Um, so, I'm probably going to have to pin up some blinds for tonight. Because that's a little too much light for my liking. You can see it on the, the reflection on the inside here. Pretty gnarly. So let's go ahead. Uh, the MPPT is still flashing. That means um, battery over voltage still. I uh, didn't bring it back from that yet. 13.2 volts at capacities at 85%. Basically, that means. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it means I could literally run everything on all night like I mentioned and just go to bed so that's pretty sweet I'll show you guys out the windows here it's still a little breezy out you guys can see all the cattails out there not too bad it must have settled down a bit I haven't had the, heard the wind turbine actually in a while. Um, wood stove, I got it damped down decent, but not totally damped down. And I put a, um, behind this fan here that blows across my stack, you guys probably can't see anything right now, so I'm gonna keep focusing on the fireplace. But it was vibrating against the wall, the fan was. So I just put an oven mitt in behind the um, fan, and you can see that blue light. That's what's powering it, the lithium power pack, and that stopped the vibration nice and quiet for sleeping. Um, so back here, you can see the little light strip, and I got some little LEDs, and out here you can see more cattails. And lighting and then my little solar light from the Dollar Tree that survived the only one and other than that that's the bathroom guys so that's what you're looking at oh I hear the I, I hear the winter by now it's just spooling up um, so before I go to bed I am going to pin up a blackout curtain or that, uh, actually I have that tapestry that I can hook up. We're gonna do that, because why not? Um, so that means I gotta turn the juice back on. Well, I'll just turn these lights on and then, how about that, right? Woo, let there be light in the tiny house. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take that tapestry sheet that's got like a funky design on it and I'm just going to pin that bitch up and hopefully that stops enough of the light though I got a, bl a full black one though I think over here somewhere do a hell of a lot better job than that one is but actually, I don't give a shit at this point. I'm just gonna try it. We'll pin this bitch up and we'll see. I'm just gonna put two little tacks in. And that'll be it for tonight. And I'm still sleeping with the window open a crack, guys. So in case anybody's worried about me or anything. Oh, I fixed the... Um, the doors on the cabinets from opening all I did was I took a wire some of the scrap wire that I got actually this stuff here and I just tightened around the latches on all of the cabinets I should do these ones too but they're not really an issue um, and yeah that's gonna be sweet uh, that's basically going to solve that issue, so 
let's do some work before Betty by so we can knock this freaking nonsense out. Oh. Oh, my hamstring, guys, is LFFO right at the moment. So let's put this bitch up. Even temporarily for tonight. We'll see if this does it for tonight anyway. Just to block out that light. Alright. I'm going to kill the light again, guys. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's not... That's that's not bad. It's not perfect. Not perfect whatsoever. I'm gonna have to get the uh, that super blackout curtain though. It's better than what it was though for sure. So I'm going to bed. So I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Shoot some more video for you. And uh, I'm sleeping in. How about that? Cool. See you in the morning.